let us now look at the concept of conjugate parabola uh, conjugate hyperbola so we have this hyperbola here x square by a square minus y square b square equal to 1 then its conjugate will simply be this one will change with a minus sign right or you can also write this as uh, x square by minus x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 right so uh, as you can see this table shows the difference uh of the formulas uh, so basically let me first show you how they look so these are your coordinate axes these are your coordinate axes and uh, you have this as your hyperbola x square by a square uh minus y square by b square equal to 1 then your conjugate hyperbola will be something like this so if you can see uh x square by a square with a negative sign plus y square by b square is equal to 1 so in fact this is how your conjugate parabola uh, conjugate hyperbola looks uh, the the pink arms right so if you can see the change of formulas here uh, the center remains the same so the center for this hyperbola is also 0 0 but the directrices will change now directrices will be y is equals to uh, plus or minus b by e so this is y plus by b by e y is equal to minus b by e So you can see here it's x equal to a by e, and here for the conjugate it's y equal to b by e, right? Eccentricity for your original hyperbola is e is equal to under root a square plus b square by a square. Here it's under root a square plus b square by b square, right? This is very similar uh, to your ellipse, right? Where your ellipse for a greater than a greater than b, these were the formulas. For b greater than a, these were the formulas, right? but here uh, what is the difference i actually asked you to keep this difference in mind before as well that here when it comes to hyperbola uh, it doesn't matter whether your a or b is greater what matters is the sign right so if x is positive and y is negative then these will be the formulas if your x becomes uh, if your you know this this part becomes negative and this becomes this part becomes positive one being the same then these will be your formulas right so here also now it doesn't matter whether your a is greater than b or b is greater than a the formulas will be this so uh, i just wanted to keep this in mind uh, if you notice everything that's happening here the only thing that's happening here is your x is changing to y and y is changing to x your a is changing to b and b is changing to a that's all that is happening so everywhere this this interchange you need to keep in mind when you move from your original hyperbola to your conjugate hyperbola you need to make these interchanges so length of transverse axis is 2a but a will change to b now b will change to a now a will change to b now and for foci as you can see the foci here will be on the y axis right they'll not be on the x axis so obviously uh, here also your x is actually changing to y because foci were on the x axis now they are on the y axis here also your a is changing to b now your x is changing to y right a is a and b are changing so everything everything uh, that is the only thing that's happening even when you come to focal red eye uh, focal red eye or your focal distance ex1 plus a here you will have ey1 plus b right ey1 plus b or ey1 minus b so this is the interchange that you need to keep in mind this is the comparison uh, and that's all when it comes to conjugate hyperbola that's all that you have to understand let's move on to auxiliary circle and eccentric angle